Okay, hello. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, my name is Muhammad Fizul Ben Kaharudin. And today, I will present about section 1 that is an introduction. So, uh, our group have choose topic about the handball. So, uh, what is handball? Handball is also known as a team handball, European handball, or Olympic handball. Handball also is do uh, in Handball also is an indoor game, but uh, in the 1936 Summer Olympic in Berlin, some uh, handball is do as a outdoor game. But the next 1972 Summer Olympic, handball do as a indoor game back. So a uh, standard match for handball is the team in it. So in the courts will consist of two team, which is team have seven players in, uh, include the goalkeeper and the uh, handball association is conducted by international federation handball or also known as the IFH okay now i will explain to you the laws of handball the laws of handball is conducted and created by International Federation Handball or also known as IFH There is about the seven laws of handball But uh, I will explain to you just a few laws that important Okay, the first is duration uh, The format handball um, match game is 60 minutes and is divided into two half The first half is 30 minutes and during the rest time is about 10 to 15 minutes and for the second half is 30 minutes okay if the uh, players playing in the uh, cup competition uh, if the the two teams still tied there will be an extra time the uh, in extra time also will divide it into two half the first half will be five minutes and there is a one minute break and the second half is five minutes so if uh, in, if the extra time is still tight, there will be a penalty, uh, penalty shootout, and there is about the five round of penalty shootout. Okay, next for the team players substitutes and uh, official, there there are seven players for each team in the court. So uh, each team consists seven. Uh, for example, uh, in the court will be fourteen people. Okay, uh, for the uh, substitutes, there is a rolling substitutes. Uh, the players could uh, exchange, exchange without the referee notice. It's just the rolling substitute. Okay, for there is a awarded throw. Awarded throw is a special throw to the team. If uh, it may happen in a certain situation. Maybe like you, uh, the ball is turned over. Uh, then there is a time out, or maybe you score a goal, and of court balls. Uh, so there will be a awarded, awarded, awarded throws. Okay, next for the penalties. Penalties are given to the player when the player break the rule, break uh, break the rules. So uh, when so uh, the referee will give a free throw or if a warning to the player but if the player still uh, keep repeating doing the fall or maybe harming the the opponent uh, for several time uh, the first time the referee will give the yellow card but if he keep repeating doing a fall maybe uh, the referee could give the red card as the penalty so by giving the red card, the player must go out from the court. Okay, next there is a handball basic information. Uh, okay, for the basic information about the football, uh, for the football match, the the actual size uh, maybe like five or six, but in the handball ball, the the actual size is using for the size three. And then for the requirement for the athlete to be playing handball, uh, they must wearing a jersey to differentiate the color and the team. Uh, and then uh, 
the athlete also uh, uh, should wear the uh, shoes as the protective uh, protective wear because uh, by the wearing the uh, shoes there will be uh, there will be uh, more grip it will uh, protect them from being their toes high hurt uh, and injury yeah. so uh, next uh, uh, the handball also will be playing at the court so at the court there will be uh, seven players for each team yes okay now our group have uh, choose one skill that is the jumping shooting in handball uh, okay uh, we will relate about the motor skill with jumping shooting in handball first, first gross motor skill we know uh, gross motor skill is uh, part of involving large muscle when we jumping uh, the large muscle that involve uh, is quadricep hamstring and gastrocnemius okay next uh, when doing jumping shooting and handball also it will involve serial motor skill uh, we also have learned before this uh, about the uh, discrete motor skill continuous motor skill and uh, serial motor skill okay discrete motor skill is uh, it have a clear beginning and ending and for the continuous it have a uh, repetitive movement but in jumping shooting is a serial motor skill okay now i will learn uh, i will teach you uh, why it is the serial motor skill okay example this is the d zone and it is the athlete okay when running it is the continuous motor skill because it include uh, the repetitive movement he running then when he jump and shooting the shooting is the discrete motor skill it because uh, it have the clear beginning and ending okay that is why uh, we that is why the jump shooting is the uh, serial motor skill okay uh, uh, next motor skill that involved is open motor skill open motor skill is the unpredictable movement okay when we want to shooting uh, the people uh, the goalkeeper cannot uh, cannot read the movement of the ball whether it go to left or right that is why we call open motor skill because the unpredictable movement